Hello and welcome to our video on initial IP camera configuration. In today's video, we're going to go through the steps needed to configure an IP camera that is fresh out the box. The first thing we're going to want to do, as you can see here, is bring up command prompt. This is where we're going to confirm our IP address information. In order to do that, we're going to type in IP config and then hit enter. With our IP config screen up, let's take a look at the information it gives us. First, we can see the IPv6 address, the IPv4 address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. Now, the IP address is important. Pelco cameras come with the default IP of 192.168.0.20 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. The only exception to this is the Evolution camera. That camera's default IP address is 192.168.0.200. Now the IP addressing is very important. The reason why we're verifying it here if we were to connect a new camera to this system on this IP scheme, we would not be able to connect to it to configure it. The best way to configure a new Pelco IP camera would be to do a direct connection to the camera using a crossover cable or a straight through cable if the connecting PC or laptop has an auto flip port for its network connection. Most newer laptops or PC systems do have this feature, but I recommend checking with the hardware documentation. Now, once a connection has been established to the camera, we're going to want to change our IP addressing information to match that on the camera. Once we've done it and we can establish a connection, we can then change the IP address. The process I just described would be for static IP assignment. This would mean that the IT department has assigned IP addresses specifically for the security network. These IP addresses would need to be set manually within each camera. Now there is another way to assign cameras IPs that does not require manual intervention. That would be through DHCP. So let's take a look at what DHCP would look like on a system. To do that, we're going to stay in command prompt and we're going to type in the same IP config command, but this time we're going to hit space forward slash all. The first thing we want to look at is the DHCP server. By having that address there, that is an indication that DHCP is enabled on this network. Now in this instance, we actually have a DHCP server running on the network. There are some sites with Windows assigned IP addressing or a PIPA addresses. This is easily identified by seeing a 169.254 IP address. This is an indication that Windows is managing the IPs. While this will work when adding Windows-based systems as they will recognize this and assign themselves accordingly, the IP cameras are not Windows devices and will not obtain an APIPA address. One thing to note when using DHCP to assign IP addresses to our cameras, if the camera is reset and the lease has expired, it is possible when it comes back up and communicates with the DHCP server again that a new IP address can be issued. For this, we would recommend that the DHCP server is set to lease the IP cameras for an extended period of time beyond the normal one week lease. So we've talked about both type of connection methods, static assignment and DHCP. 
let's walk through static assignments starting with changing the IP address on the target Windows system. Now in this example we are using Windows 7. If you're using another Windows OS I would recommend checking Microsoft's FAQs for how to change that specific operating system's IP addressing. So the first thing we want to do to change the IP address in Windows 7 is go to Start. From Start we're going to go to Control Panel. From Control Panel we're going to go to Network and Sharing Center. Once in Network and Sharing Center click on Change Adapter Settings. From there right click on the local area connection we'd like to change and go to Properties. From Properties we want to select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP v4 and then hit Properties. At the TCP IP property screen here we can change our IP address by clicking use the following IP address and we want to set our IP address to 192.168.0 15 is what we'll use in this example. This will allow us to connect to the Pelco IP cameras at their default IP. Now our system here is already configured and ready to go so we won't be saving this change. However, out in the field we would click OK here and then OK again to exit back to the desktop. Back at the desktop Let's talk about a tip for configuring multiple Pelco IP cameras. If there is a small switch available, a 4 or 8 port, we can plug all the cameras into that switch. If it's PoE, it will also power the cameras. We can then plug our laptop into the PoE switch and have access to all the cameras there. Just make sure to change the IP to the 192.168 dot zero dot fifteen. With the IP now changed we can go into our web browser and connect to the camera. Now this system has already been configured so we're just gonna go to the IP address that has already been set for it. Once on the web page we're gonna walk through how to change the IP within the camera. Here at the login prompt the default username and password is going to be admin for username and then admin for password. Once logged in we'll go to settings. From settings we're going to hover over network and click on general. At the general tab here we can see the camera's IP address information. Now we've already turned DHCP off here but by default it is on. DHCP must be set to off in order to specify the IP address. So let's take a look at this screen. Now the IP address and subnet mask are pretty straightforward. However, the gateway, your site may or may not use one. And on some older versions of software for our IP cameras, a gateway is required. If it requires a gateway, use the IP address of the camera. This will work in place of a site assigned gateway IP address. Now once we set the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway, we can click Save Network Interface and Reboot. Now once you click that button, you will lose connection because remember the connecting device we have is set to 192.168.0.15 so we will no longer be able to connect to this camera it will need to be connected to the site's network and then it will be reachable again we can repeat this process for all cameras that need to be set up once done they can be added to the site's network as always Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered.